It is that time again. CS number eight, collectible swap eight is here. And I've got this big ass box. And it is it is stuffed. Like you can see, it's it's like bursting at the seams. And it's like, yeah, there's a lot there's a lot of good stuff in here. Uh, according to uh, the address here, it says it's being sent from somebody cool from New Jersey. I don't know any of those people. I, I don't know any cool people from New Jersey. I know people from New Jersey, but they're cool. Eh. So uh, it says open from this end first. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna just get right into it. I am doing this super early too. Not early in the morning, like early as in I just got this box and. Granted, this one, this one's kind of different because I don't think I even explained it. It's supposed to be like a like a retro throwbacky kind of theme. Uh, you're supposed to put stuff in there from like your childhood and uh, and stuff like that, which is going to be interesting because there's a lot of different like age groups around like in this community and in the swap. So what what I watched as a kid or whatever or what I did as a kid was is going to be completely different from someone like older or younger than me. So. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see what types of boxes we get. Oh my god, there we go. I'm trying to think of how to open this. I'm trying. Okay, so there's the oh 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 flap is over here. I found it. Oh okay, alright, so it's like a it's like a like a puzzle box. <laughs> there's so much cardboard. Alright. Uh, I don't know, it does say, what, which end am I supposed to open first? This end, I, I guess. So I'm going to stick with that. Uh, I, I think this is, okay, read this. It says read first, so I'm going to do that first. Uh, dear mystery box swapper, I think I did this right, but who knows? I don't know what I'm doing. This box, in its own way, defines my childhood and even who I am today. This note isn't intended on giving away what I send you. Sent to you, sorry. It's not really a game, and there aren't and they aren't numbered. But with each one, there will be a note. The note should be opened after you open the item. It will tell you why I picked that item. That's a great idea. I did not do that. <laughs> Everything in there was just from my childhood. I didn't really, or for the most part, and uh, I didn't really explain why. <laughs> I just, I guess, I let the objects do the talk. I don't know. But that's a great idea, box person, person who made this box. Uh, I will say this, if there's anything you don't like, don't like, don't want, have, or whatever the reason, feel free to sell, trade, give away, or destroy any item in here. Noted. Uh, I had a lot of fun building it, more so because it was a time machine back to a, into a simple time of my life. Though I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, and if you get a keeper, it's a win. Thanks, your box builder. Thank you, box builder, from uh, somebody cool from New Jersey. Excellent. Don't flat, don't flat back up. All right, so got the paper. <laughs> they're all wrapped. They're all wrapped like the Christmas one was, but they're not. It's not Christmas, but it's like Christmas in uh, what March, February right now. But March. Uh, 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 he said there's no, or he or she, I don't know who it is. Uh, so, oh, oh, this one does say open last though, so there is kind of an order, but I guess just with this one. So I'll do this one last. Um, I don't even know where to begin this. Look, look how packed this box is. I love it. I love seeing a bunch of cool stuff. I mean, I assume it's going to be cool stuff. Uh, all right, so everyone does have a note on it, like they said. Uh, let's just get into the first one here. Oh, God. We've got a bubble mailer. I got to I gotta remember to, to read the note that comes on it. Because I'm uh, an idiot. And hopefully the person who built this box knows. Um, so if I miss something, my bad. But they would, I mean, they would, oh no, I gotta open the, the item first. I gotta open the item first, then read the note. I, I'm also a bad uh, instruction follower. <laughs> it's like a bobblehead. Oh, cool. It's like a, oh, it came in like a little bag. I was like, there's something else in here. Came in like a little, little uh, mystery bag originally. I want to say, I could be totally wrong, but this looks Fraggle Rocky to me. Um, this looks like Fraggle Rock, but I could be wrong. I'm going to I'm gonna read the note and maybe it'll tell me, hopefully. Hopefully it'll tell me. Uh, Fraggle Rock, hey! See, I'm young, but I, I can still figure things out. <laughs> I can still figure things out. 
Uh, this show was everything to me. I loved Muppets. I got the flocked Funko 5 piece for myself, which there was no way I was putting it in here. But this mini represents everything great about the show. Just my being a frag, just by being a Fraggle Rock mini. Cool. That's great. That's, that's a nice little Fraggle Rock guy. And I'm surprised I got it because I, I didn't really, I didn't really see a lot of Fraggle Rock when I was younger. Um, but I am mildly familiar with it. Because, like, for those who don't know, I'm 28, so, like, for, for some, I'm, like, the young, one of the younger people in this community. I mean, there's a ton of us, but, and there's, there have definitely been people that have surpassed me in youngness, um, but I am a young boy. I am a small child. So, um, if I don't get some of this, then it's because I'm a baby. I'm still a baby. This one's hefty. This is a hefty boy right here. This is a heavy boy. Ooh, it's well wrapped, too. I might have to get the get the blade. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll get the little blade piece. There we go. There. Get the note. Make sure I don't rip the note. There we go. Let's see what we got here. This is heavy. I mean, like for its size, it's real heavy. Oh, cool. Hold on. Trying to trying to keep somewhat clean. It's not working. This is cool. We've got a James, I, I, I mean, it's on the puck, a James Van Riemsdyk signed hockey puck. That's super cool. I, it's a player I know, which is shocking. I'm not a big hockey fan, but it is a player I know. Um, JVR, yeah, that's that's really cool. I was wondering, oh, I can't say that. It gives a spoiler away from my box, but I was wondering if something happened. In, in, in el something. Someone else did something that I did in my box as well. And this reminded me of it. Autographs uh, from the first, from when I was a kid and going to Flyers practices, watching the practice and then uh, watching the practice and then waiting outside to get the autographs. Now it's part of what I do, selling autographs. I've always enjoyed them, even if the signature sucks. They took me, they took time for me from their day to make a kid smile. Uh, I too love autographs. I never really did anything like that. Um, I just buy my autographs because I uh, live in New Hampshire and nothing's here. I did meet some, like, Monarchs players, uh, Manchester Monarchs players, and uh, stuff like that. Uh, but that's the only team we really had around, you know? But this is very cool. Uh, I mean, I'm an autograph collector today as well. Uh, don't really dabble in sports memorabilia, but I do have some, and this is definitely a keeper for me. For sure. And I, as if I didn't really think I already knew who this was from, because I knew the address, and I'm not that dumb. I am dumb, but I figured it out pretty early. Um... That definitely gave it away. <laughs> definitely. I mean, I don't know if it gave it away for you, but I know. I know who it is for sure. There's still so much stuff in here, guys. Let's go with this one. Get the note off of there. Let's go with this. Thirty great box. I regret. I love. It. We've got another bubble mailer. I've given up on keeping clean. I've given up. Sorry uh, for the sniffles. I was just out shoveling, so I probably have a cold now. We've got, oh, what? Cool. We've got micro machines, which are like little mystery vehicles. I never really uh, got into like Hot Wheels and micro machines and anything like that, but still very cool. Do I open them? Should I? I'll open them. I'll open them. I don't know, did it, do you build them? Like, I don't, I don't know how these work. Or are they just like tiny cars? Okay, so they're just like little cars, cool. So we've got a little purple guy. We got a little purple car. You probably can't even really see it, but there's a little purple car there. I, are there rarities or is there just like a checklist? I don't know how it works. There is a checklist. I don't know what the deal is with it. Oh my God, there's so many. <laughs> there's so many. Where's the purple, where's the purple guy? Um. I think it's a, a, a Azumi. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't. I don't know. There are there are rares though. Like there are rarities. Pretty cool though. All right, there's that guy. I am making a mess. So much of a mess. Come on. Come on. All right. There's one more. There's one more. I'm not gonna mess around. I'm, I'm messing around too much, you know. I'm enjoying it. Listen, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying myself. Okay. I'm having a good time. If you don't like it, eh, no, whatever. All right, let's get do the other one. 
That was neat. So, you can't even really see it, but yeah, pretty cool. These are cool. I like these, like I said, I never personally got into them, uh, like micro machines or, uh, or like Hot Wheels or whatever. Um, granted, Hot Wheels, I mean, it's similar, just bigger. Uh, let's read the note and see why this human being was into, ooh, this is a big one. That's what she said. Oh. Micro machines. This is my first collectible. I was in second grade. My father used to have to travel to Hong Kong when still under British control for work. He'd always bring me back home cool stuff that we didn't have in America yet. And Micro Machines was on that, uh, Micro Machines was on that. Stuck with me the most. Uh, over my childhood years, I amassed hundreds of them. But as with almost everything, they get lost or destroyed, sold, sold or thrown away. These are never, these are, I cannot read. So uh, if you didn't know before, I can't read. Uh, these are a newer version of them, but even seeing the package reminds me of when I was a kid. Did you collect these also, or are you not even old enough to know what I'm talking about? That one. <laughs> it's like they knew it was coming to me. They didn't, but it's like they did, and it feels like it's being written for me. Um, <laughs> uh, do this one. It feels like a bubble mailer, and I bet it is. It is. We got another bubble mailer, y'all. Let me, uh, let me get the note before I forget. Get the note out of there. Uh, no, note last. Note last. Oh, oh, it's from, ooh, it's from Bam. Let's, let's see. Let's see what we got. What, what the hell? Whoa! <laughs> it's a dinosaur. <laughs> what? Okay, let's. Let's see who this is. Uh, it's an autographed dinosaur. I mean, I love autographs, so. <laughs> I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, this is a toy T. This toy T Rex has been hand signed by Aaron the Plant, who voices Spear in Gendy Tarkovsky's Primal. It was signed during a private signing for the BAM Pop Culture Box and is guaranteed to be authentic. All right. Let's, uh, let's read about it. I feel like I got to sneeze. I'm going to try to not. <laughs> Because sneezing doesn't sound good. All right. Autographed dinosaur. What kid didn't enjoy dinosaurs as a child? I was amazed by them and still am to this day. I also love autographs. That said, this thing sucks and I had to pawn it off on someone. Congrats, you win. That's pretty funny and fitting. Uh, is it possible that I'm an asshole and this is the only autograph I'd include for someone that collects autographs? I hope not. It's not. Luckily, I found the other one first. Um, but I, that's a great description. Um, uh, that's a great description. And I have, now I have a, fun, a squishy autographed dinosaur. Um, and I don't know what to do with it either. So thank you for pawning it off on me. I like it. Uh, it's cool. It's different. It's definitely unique. This looks like a pop, so I'll hold off on that. This is still so much, y'all. This is still so much. This thing is packed to the brim. Pack to the brim. Don't stab yourself, dude. <sighs> All right. Let's, uh, I think I've got. I think I've read all the notes, right? I, don't know. I think I've been. I think I've been doing good. I think I've been do, getting it right. But who knows? All righty. All righty, Rudy. Well packaged. Very, very well wrapped up. All right, cool. I got it out. We've got a Transformer. It, it's a Starscream. Starscream, Starscream Transformer. I do know a little bit about the Transformers, but truthfully, most of what I saw of it was of the terrible movies that came out. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I never watched like the cartoon or anything that I remember. I never watched the cartoon or anything. Um, but this is still very cool, and I don't know when it's from. Maybe it's new. I can't tell. Oh, 2017. So, it's like five years old. All right, let's see the newt. Transformers. As with many more, this is one of the top five toys I'd go to at one point. Good or bad, it didn't phase me. I always would say I, I always would say I was with the good guys, but I loved all the vehicles that Decepticons had the coolest vehicles. I loved all of the, yeah. I read that right. I always loved the aircraft, although uh, so newer. I'm 
I'm bad at reading. <laughs> so though newer and would be hard in better condition if some dumb GameStop store didn't stick it in a bubble mailer because boxes are hard. I feel that. I feel that. Uh, GameStop, usually, usually GameStop is a little bit better. Usually GameStop uses a box because I've gotten things about this big in boxes about this big. Like <laughs> sometimes they're all right, but other times they're, they're very hot topic box lunchy, you know? Ah, man. I'm probably going to get sick. Probably going to get sick from being outside. Ooh, outdoors. Yep. Oh, there's so much tape. Okay. We got another bubble mail, y'all. Hey, maybe it's another autograph. I don't know. Could be. I'll take all the autographs. I'm happy with any autograph I can get. You guys know. I'm, I'm an autograph guy. It's not, what? Oh, what the heck is that? I don't know. It seems like there might be one more thing. Or, oh, yeah, there's one more thing in there. Hold on. Okay. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Uh, let me make sure there's nothing else. Okay, cool. Let me, let me get this. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, maybe? This looks like April, right? This looks like April O'Neil, right? I don't know what the heck that is. I have no idea what this is. But that looks like April. We'll see. Let's read the note. Oh, there, there was a little camera, too. A little, little camera there. Yeah. Oh, it fell out. Okay, well... That's whatever. Uh, TMNT! Fun fact, though I never owned the toys, I had the Nintendo game, watched the cartoon, saw the movies, and that arcade game was one of my top three favorites to play. That arcade game was dope. I played a lot of that too. Very cool. I did, I did enjoy that arcade game as well. I'm like a kid on Christmas. I'm doing like the shake test, like, ooh, what do we got? Got two things in it. All right, I'm gonna have to clean up so much. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna have to clean up so much. Got a little. We'll do this little guy. I'm. Uh, let's see if I can get the note off without ripping it. There we go. All right. Get off the tape. So much tape. I'll tell you what. Everything's well packaged. I'll tell you. I'll tell you that much. Too too well packaged. I'm just kidding. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as too well packaged, to be honest. What do we get here? Cards? Some kind of card. I like cards. That's what, that, what people don't know about me is I uh, started I started with sports cards as far as collecting goes. So let's open it up. There's a couple in here, it looks like. We've got from the Cincinnati Reds, Joey Votto. I don't know. It's a, a jersey piece. Little jersey piece, a little relic. We got uh, Mike Trout, little Mike Trout card. Whatever, whatever this is. Deshaun, Deshaun Watson. Oh man, they said I could destroy stuff. I don't know that one. Oh, it's numbered. I can't destroy. It. Oh no, it's not. It's score. I could definitely destroy it. I can definitely destroy a score card. <laughs> Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Please don't. Uh, we got Ken Griffey Jr. Maybe, maybe some of these are some of his favorite players. Or their favorite players. I don't. I mean, I know who it is, but I figured it out. Uh, Roberto Alomar, rated rookie. Uh, whatever this is. Johnny Bench. Was he any good? Did he stay on the bench? I don't know. But, <laughs> well, this is not a, a card, a, a sports card. Uh, we got Ken Griffey Jr. again, rated rookie. And then, <laughs> Occupation of Mi Min Minban? Minban? Star Wars? It's a Star Wars card. I don't know. <laughs> it's a Star Wars card. Okay. Where'd, the, where'd I put the note? Uh-oh. I might have lost the note. So, weird cut, right? I'm angry. <laughs> this phone stinks. It just decided to stop. It just decided to stop in the, in the middle. Right in the middle. And I didn't notice because I'm an idiot. I'm a nincompoop. But I'm going to show you the rest of the stuff that uh, before it got cut off. Uh, I think, I don't, I think I remember where it cut off. It cut off at the cards. So I think I'll show you what, what I think we missed. If not, sorry, Dave. Uh, yeah, I know I, I spoiled it, but <laughs> it was Dave. Um, but 
let's do the rest. So we got He-Man. We got a He-Man figure right here. Very cool. This is uh, this is great. I never watched He-Man as a kid, um, but I know a lot of people. It's a lot of people's favorite thing. It's it's a lot of people's favorite thing. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember if we got these if these were in here, um, but we got April and this guy. I don't know. I don't know what this guy is from TMNT. That was another one of the uh, one of the franchises he was a fan of. Oh, and then we got another Masters of the Universe guy too. I don't know. I don't know who Orko is. I know who. I mean, I've seen this a bunch before, but I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Uh, I know who He Man is because obviously. Let's see what else. I think this one. I don't think this one made it. Uh, we've got a Dark Phoenix X Men figure from 1996. So. Uh, I don't remember if, if I mentioned it in the original video or whatever before it cut off rudely, but uh, this figure is two years younger than me. <laughs> I am two years older than this figure right here. Two years it's from 96. I'm, I'm from 94, 96. So that's pretty cool. I love seeing older stuff like that. Um, let's see. Let's see these Hot Wheels. Let's see these Hot Wheels. I know there was another one. There it is. We got... Uh, I feel bad. I feel bad because you put all the time and write the notes. I read them all and I thought I was reading them all on camera, but like now, now they're gone. It sucks. It sucks. We got this little ramp van, which is super cool. I like that a lot. We got, uh, whatever this is. I don't even know, but it's wacky and I like it. I like that. And then we got the, oh, it's a police car. I didn't even notice it was a police car the first time. We got a Dodge Charger little police car. That's very cool. I like that. Maybe my phone has like a recording limit, but I, I, I didn't think it did because like I've gone over time all the time. Like I've gone over, I think it was only, I think it was at like at the 19 minute mark or something, but I don't know. I don't have a clue. I'm just mad. I'm angry. I'm salty. Here's the autographed dinosaur if you didn't see that. I think we got that in, but it was a little autographed dinosaur. Uh, let's see. I, I think I, I, other than this right here, I think I got it all. Uh, this was GI Joe. Uh, I made a really funny joke because I couldn't find the note. I'm sad it's gone because it's not going to be as funny as, with me explaining it to you. I made a, I made a really funny joke because I couldn't find the note. I was like, oh, whoever made this box probably said that they had their GI Joes and their sisters Barbies or whatever having sex. But it's not as funny now because you're not hearing it in the moment. It was funnier in the moment. Also, I found the note, and it was it was way more wholesome than that. And I'm just a dick. I don't know. I'm mad. <laughs> I'm angry. But here's GI Joe. Uh, and the big reveal, which you guys already know, because I spoiled it. Because I'm a, I'm a, I'm mad. I'm an angry boy. The big reveal is right here. I'll read the note again. I'll read the final note again. But the big reveal was right here. We've got clown Winnie the Pooh. With with a bone sticking out of his out of his honey. Actually, he's eating blood. He's he's eating blood. Let's get real. But it's like honey blood. I don't know. I have no idea. But it's very cool. I mean, I love the Big Dog Dave clown customs. I love that stuff. Um, so I was happy to happy to get another. I, I have one of All Might uh, from My Hero Academia. I have that. I'm just waiting for this to cut off, and I'm really scared. It hasn't so far, so we're good. But uh, yeah, we got the little. Big Dog Dave sticker on there. That gave it away, even though I definitely already knew. I definitely already knew who it was very early on. Just from, just from reading the address, I knew who it was. But let's read, the, uh, let's read the note. Even though I already have. Uh, so we put this note. Like, he had everything packed up, and then he put this note in afterwards. Uh, so that explains why he knows me. Uh, Jake, well, I hope you enjoyed the box I put together. There are so many more things I wish I could have found and included. But a thousand dollar box is just not happening. So, some shout outs to the other uh, franchises from my younger days: Smurfs, California Raisins, Snork, RC Cars, and really so much more. Seriously, I laughed when I got your name. I owe you a snack. Expect a chocolate penis or a bag of dicks to come in the mail. I hope there is something in the box that you like enough to keep. Big dog day. So thank you, Dave. I really appreciate the box. Um, I am for sure at least keeping this. Uh, I'm going to keep this puck right here. Uh, the JVR puck. There's probably a couple things. Uh, I'm going to keep the weird autographed dinosaur you were looking upon off. Uh, just because I, it's weird and unique and autographed. I like all those things. Uh, so I'm going to keep that as well. Um, but I wish I had your notes. Um, they're all jumbled. Uh, they're all stuck together and 
It's a whole mess now. It's a whole mess. I, I'm sad because I read them all on the original video and then it was just like, hey, screw you. We're just gonna, we're, we're done. We're done here. So at least I hope you enjoyed hearing some of Dave's notes and uh, not the rest of them because uh, I, they're all stuck together and shit because they're all taped up and whatever. And I'm mad, I'm angry, but it's okay because I, I made it happen. I, I finished it off again. I finished off the video again. If I missed anything, I, sorry. I think I got it all. I think I recapped what I didn't show and, or what I did show in the video and then what got cut off. I think I got it all. But if I didn't, Dave knows and he's mad and I'm mad and everybody's angry. But it's okay because this was a great box. Dave put together a great box and uh, it, it was really representative of what I would assume someone, what I would assume a childhood would look like for someone, you know? There's so many different franchises represented here and um, so many different things. Like, there's just so much. There's sports cards. There's there's old toys. There's uh, Hot Wheels. I mean, Hot Wheels was a big thing for a lot of people. There's just a ton of franchises represented. And there's sports. There's sports memorabilia, too. Like, there's a ton of stuff. And he sells... I mean, this gave it away for me, too, as if I didn't already know. Uh, when it said that uh, he sells sports autographs or sells autographs or whatever instant giveaway for me uh and if you know you know i mean if, if you know dave you, you know that he sells autographs so there you go um again sorry that i got cut off i'm bummed out too uh because it was a great great other half of the video but what are you gonna do hopefully this one doesn't it looks like it's still going so we're good but i'm gonna stop it before it cuts off again and uh, that's it. Thank you for coming to the Collectible Swap 8 again. I'm going to be watching a ton of everybody's videos. It's going to be a good time. Betty White, still immortal. Goodbye.